Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 23, just verse 9 today. Here's what it reads. You shall not oppress a stranger, since you yourselves know the feelings of a stranger, for you also were strangers in the land of Egypt. So this is another time, and this keeps happening at different times. You've seen some of these before already. Another kind of a call to what? To empathy, right? Don't forget where you came from. You were slaves. Your ancestors were slaves in Egypt. I delivered you. Now when you meet a stranger or a person that isn't really plugged in in your space, maybe they're not a citizen in your country or, or there's somebody you've never known who that is before that doesn't look like a familiar person, don't turn around and just walk the other way. No, treat that person kindly. Treat that person like the angels that came by and how Abraham treated them back there in Genesis. Go back and read Genesis 17, 18, 19. See what happened in there. But the hospitality of God's servant uh, led for good things to come out of something that was very bad. So here we see, you shall not oppress a stranger. There's no circumstance that God wants us to oppress a stranger. Remember, you, you yourselves, and the way the NASB here puts it, for since you yourselves know the feelings of a stranger, so we're not trying to get hung up on feelings, but yeah, uh, it is a piece of the totality, right? People felt felt like strangers and they felt alienated. And so God says, you should remember that. You were also strangers in the land of Egypt. God wants us to treat other people with kindness, with generosity, with goodness, and not say, well, look, uh, that person's obviously whatever, whatever, uh, I don't like people with beards. I don't like bald people. I don't like people that are this color or that color. I don't like people that are this sex. By the way, just two to choose from male and female. But let's be true on our scripture here and make sure that we in no way, shape, or form do we ever oppress a stranger. Remember, you might be whatever, you know, whatever your ethnicity, whatever your background is, but remember, we're identifying with God's people, the people that were slaves in Egypt are now our ancestors. They truly are in the most, in the most absolute, in the most real sense. As you are joined to Jesus, you're joined to God's people, and you are a son or a daughter of Abraham. The Israelites who served as slaves in Egypt, that's your history, that's my history. God brought them out of bondage. But therefore, my ancestors were strangers, they were slaves, and, they, and so I should treat strangers the way that they would want to be treated, not as they were treated under the, the lash of Pharaoh. All right, so that's our lesson for today. We'll see you back tomorrow morning for some interesting business as we get in from verse 10 and onward. Hey, just a reminder that every Monday at noon at 12 o'clock on America slash Detroit time, we try to do a YouTube live. Every now and then there's something that comes up so that we can't do it. Uh, if so, I'll put a note here, I'll post a note that we're not doing it that day. But uh, we're doing a YouTube Live anywhere from um, usually 15 to 30 minutes and catching up on the different videos, different presentations of the week, sometimes the devotionals, and uh, different things that have just come up this past week or two. So you're invited to that. Also, we have an additional channel called Prepare the Breach WO right here on YouTube, and you might find something of interest over there. Go take a look. There's a very particular focus on a key issue that has divided Christianity like crazy this last half century and more. So go take a look and we'll see you around.